Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video which is uh, related to Depop and it's basically going to be a how to avoid getting banned. Um, and you may think uh, to start off with like that's a bit of a, a silly thing to make a video on. Obviously just don't be a dickhead and you won't get banned. But recently people have been getting banned a lot more than usual because Depop have changed some of the way they actually run their app. Um, so just as a little bit of an explanation. So before um, it used to be very easy to make purchases outside of Depop um, So if you like something you could obviously message someone and be like yeah Can I pay power you um, through goods and services or like the buyer would ask um, Somebody I've, I do this a lot. I have done this a lot in the past um, Would pay would like can you pay power me? Um, goods and services instead just so I avoid the 10% Depop charge um, and a lot of people would do that so I assume it's because uh, Depop were losing a lot of business to this and they were obviously cottoning on to the fact that people were doing this they've now basically implemented a bot which uh, searches through messages and it can automatically pick up when people are talking about PayPal um, and people are like asking for payments outside the app um, and people are getting warned and people are getting banned um, and don't think that you're going to be exempt, exempt from this because like you've only done it once. Um, um, a very big page on Depop called Oliver's Archive, uh, they, he has over a thousand reviews and if you go on his page you've got some crazy items on there, like really really high end. So I'm not surprised that he uses PayPal like instead of Depop because some, some of his items are like uh, over a thousand pounds. So if you're thinking you take a 10% fee off that, it's about like hundred pound off an item and then you've got to pay uh, PayPal fees as well. It's quite a lot, so um, so yeah, anyway, that is basically what's been happening. But just a couple of quick tips I can give you to avoid this happening to you and still be able to make payments, like ask for payments outside of PayPal. Um, so just what I would say is don't ask people directly through uh, Depop messages um, for their PayPal or for if they can like if they can pay via PayPal because as I said Depop are using bots that they can pick up this and uh, you'll get warned and then if not get warned then you'll get banned um, I'm, like, I haven't had a warning yet and I have done this but then as soon as I got notified um, by a couple of mates of mine that like people were getting banned for this I stopped um, but yeah, don't ask through uh, pay Depop um, just because you'll just avoid getting banned. Um, to, well, just to avoid getting banned, basically. Um, so what I usually do, and this is the tips that I would give you, is ask for a WhatsApp or an Instagram or or um, like just any other type of um, contact, any place they can contact you. Um, so obviously Instagram is easy and a lot of people have it in their bio anyway. Um, so I usually tend to just DM people on Instagram, sort the deals out there. Um, if you want to be a bit less discreet about it, because I'm sure they will cotton on to people asking for Instagrams and I'm understanding why they're doing that. Um, then just say like, can I send you more pictures over this app? Because obviously Depop doesn't allow you to post more than four pictures um, so yeah I would definitely do that ask for like as I said just another way that you can message like I message whatsapp um, snapchat like anything that you want um, personally I wouldn't go like if you go on Instagram and you're on private that you can still DM people but it's more private whereas if you give someone your snapchat it's a bit less private also like if you give them your mobile number or whatever but it doesn't really matter like most people are decent these days but you never know um, and then anyway, so you want to ask via those apps, via like those things, and then obviously you can still, Depop can't look at your messages once you're outside of their app, so you can get away with asking for payments. Um, just as I said, be a little bit more discreet about it, and maybe ask for kind of, um, like ask if they want you to see more pictures or whatever, and then yeah, maybe that's a better way to do it than asking, just, just randomly asking for their thing, because I'm sure Depop will cotton on to it. Um, but yeah, anyway, just be aware of that and definitely stay clear of that. One thing I would say is a, a friend of mine, um, he actually got warned or got messaged by eBay because he tried to do the same method I just said over eBay. Um, so I'm not guaranteeing that you won't get a warning or you won't get a banned or whatever by using these methods, but it's just a way that you can avoid um, Depop from like actually just finding your message that you're talking about paying outside the app. Um, because yeah, so just just basically don't take my word for it. You're not going to get banned. But personally, so far, and like people I've spoken to, Depop absolutely fine. They haven't noticed that people are asking for social medias and whatnot. 
Um, but uh, as I said, on eBay, a friend of mine got messaged and had to talk to uh, an eBay representative and basically just say that he wouldn't do it again. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. But um, just kind of overall, stay, be wary. And if someone, if you want someone to pay over app, over uh, PayPal, sorry, don't um, like don't ask directly through Depop or directly through eBay because that can get you in trouble. Also, if you are buying something and somebody is asking you on PayPal, this is pretty self-explanatory and a lot of people already know this, but pay via goods and services. Don't pay by uh, friends and family. Even if like today I got offered to pay something five pound less through friends and family, I just wouldn't risk that. I'd rather take the five pound um, and be covered for my 75 pound than have to pay 70 pounds and then have the risk of losing it all. Even if they're a trusted seller, I don't care. I just still wouldn't do it anyway. So just be wary of that as well. People do scam you. Um, but yeah, anyway, just make sure you're careful and make sure you avoid like getting banned because obviously you don't want to get banned lose your account especially like this oliver r this guy had a thousand plus reviews he managed to get his account back um and i i think i've seen on his page that he's basically saying only in app purchases now uh, just to avoid getting banned again obviously but yeah be careful guys if you're selling um i'm gonna have a video which is gonna be i'm gonna have a deep op do's and don'ts video soon uh, which uh, hopefully will be helpful for you guys um, and then also a how to shift items quicker or how to make more sales and have more success on Depop. Um, that is going to be another video that's going to be out very soon, hopefully this week. And then my, um, I'm going to try and start up my um, Thrift to Glory series again. Well, not again, I'm going to try and continue it. I'm just waiting on some items to sell and then that video will be out because people really enjoyed that. And I did a poll the other day um, which saying did people want to see episode three and it uh, got really, really good feedback. Um, so yeah, that will be coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. But anyway, if you are new, make sure to hit subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, obviously leave a like. Drop me some feedback down below what you thought, uh, any criticisms, any like experiences, and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to reply to them. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Yeah.